Hey, Gil here at uh, Kent Patton Family Compound. Alright, I uh, got an update on the fans I, did, I installed in the last video. So I started the fire. Fire's just starting, so it's still fairly cold. I can still put my hand on here. It's going to take a few minutes. And so, I don't have a clock in here to tell you what time it is now. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it uh, run here, and we're going to see how long it takes for the fans to go. All right. Okay, I'm back. I went and grabbed the clock. It's um, 4 o'clock. I'm going to set this. Try to set it over here where you can see the time here on it. Try to get it balanced right so it doesn't fall off. Gonna show up okay. Yeah, uh, yep, there we go. All right, so there you have it. You got the clock, fire starting, and we're gonna see how long it takes for it to go. And since I got the clock here, I may do a little high speed that way you'll be able to see the clock hands move. All right, I'm jumping back in here. So we got the one uh, thermo uh, thermometer here, and right now it's up to about, uh, it's moved up to about like that location there. So, but I'm going to put this one here, down here, so I can always see what temperature it is on here, because this here almost gets to boil, it's, it, it, it kind of, you know, simmers a little bit, and the pot, will, you know, you hear it bounces, it tweaks a little bit, and then you come over here and the steam's just coming off it. Being stainless steel, it won't stick to that, so I'm going to stick it down here in front, and we're going to see what the uh, temperature gets to here. All right. Okay, I'm back. Aim down. See the fire's going pretty good here now. We get these little touch see sometimes they just need a little touch uh, it's not quite hot enough yet but it's getting hotter yeah the temperature's going up here that one's starting to go that one always goes faster than this one uh and starts sooner there we go so those two are go going up oh, top one just started on its own so the very top one's going that's up where it's the single um thickness of the flue pipe because that's a uh, a telescoping one so the lower one's on the it has two pieces of uh metal behind it well, that one just has one so that's picking up the heat already up there and this is up to looks like about 185 degrees there and see, as you can see this one here stopped again give it a little extra twirl so, as the heat builds up there it'll stay going so that one's going uh pretty good out right off the bat i like that Hopefully this other one, we can give it a little touch just to see if it's, yeah, sometimes it just needs a little touch. Otherwise, it really gets hot before it kicks in and goes. So, so in less than five minutes, uh, oh, actually about five, five, six minutes, because I started the fire before I went and got the clock. So those two are going. This, like I say, this one down here on the bottom takes a while for it to get going. Probably another minute it'll take off on its own here. I think the top one there is really spinning fast. Uh, actually, it's spinning faster than any of the others now because it's the, up there is heating up fast. That one's going about as fast as this one down here is now. So, and temperature is now over 200 degrees on the pipe there. So, be nice to have some sort of uh, uh, electric current devi creating device that you could, you know. Attach on the stove for the whole stove to generate power for the house. That would be cool. Because I know there's a lot of heat going off the side where we could have capture that heat and turn it into electrical energy. I could charge, um, you know, iron, iron lithium batteries or the uh, iron phosphate lithium batteries. So. All right, let's see how this one goes now. Yeah, that, one's going, that one looks like it's going to take off now. Yeah, it's picking up speed on its own now. So there you have it. All right.
So uh, thank you everybody for uh, watching this to the end. And uh, eh, one of these times I'm going to put a, put a, uh, an Easter egg here in the back or a little uh, clue thing for a drawing. That way, if you can quote the number, you know the number or sort of the phrase in, in a live stream, you win. I'm gonna have to come up with something like that for you guys. All right, before I take off, I'm gonna put a link to a video up here you should enjoy. I'm gonna put a playlist down here. I'm gonna put a link over here to a video that should be interesting, and the link to my uh, prepping channel, Gray Man Prepping, up here.